Tracy George from the Ochapways First Nations is a designer currently working out of Swift Current. She has her own line of contemporary native fashions for all ages, and we'll see some of them in a few moments. But first, I'd like to welcome Tracy to the show. Welcome, Tracy. So, Tracy, tell me first of all how you got into fashion. Well, I've been sewing for about 16 years, and I've only been doing the business part of it for two years. I took a training course on how to run my business, and since then, things have been building. So have you always wanted to be a designer? A designer? No, I, I have my CNA for nursing, my BA in education, and did some banking, but this is what I wanted to do. Really? Yeah. So what's the, the materials that, like how do you, how do you get into a, into a fashion, like you see something, and how do you, like for your own, for your own outfit there, for example, how do you uh, design something like that? Yeah. Well, uh, when I'm doing one item, it's easy in the sense I will pick a fabric or a material that I'm attracted to, either the color or the feel of it or whatever um, that makes me drawn to that piece of material and something will come uh, as to what I'm supposed to do with it. So and we, uh, we mentioned in the intro that you, you do more contemporary designs yeah. um, and we talked earlier about how you pick the designs. Now, what are the designs, those categories? Uh, well, there, there's the traditional and then there's the contemporary, like you might want uh, day or evening or, or um, casual. There's different genres, we'll call mm -hmm. it, um, of clothing, but what I've been getting into mostly is uh, men's shirts, dress shirts, and ladies' jackets, like blazers. And who is the target audience for your designs? Uh, well, there, I have four markets. But the basic part of the business is the First Nations community. Um, right now, I'm only getting into international stability. I've sent stuff to, to Europe and to Japan, and um, getting into the Western wear market. Um, and then just the general public, it's, it's open to anybody. So it's close for anybody in yeah. all ages, basically, yeah. too, and sizes. Yeah. Sizes yeah. also. Sizes as well. Yes. Because we did a we did a shoot last week and uh, <coughs> and uh, we'll take a look at it right now. Actually, okay. these are some of the designs that we uh, that we looked at. If you could explain some of them to to us. Okay, Darcy's just wearing a general um, ribbon shirt, and Cree Goforth is also wearing a ribbon shirt. What I'll generally do is use 100% cotton and a print. Cheryl Dieter is wearing my contemporary wedding dress. It's got bugle beads and long frin uh, flat fringe. Cecile Brass is wearing kind of a, a polyester suede leather look. Sandy is wearing kind of a, a black frock with uh, First Nations motif buttons. Um, what is her name? Michelle. Michelle Amiot is wearing my first cape dress and that's 100% cotton as well. Janie Redman is wearing kind of, I'd classify that as a evening or a, a graduation dress. There's a lot of detail and handwork on that dress. Um, Wavel Star is wearing uh, a ribbon shirt uh, with the geometric print on it. And these two are my boys, Devin and Vincent. So you do kids clothes too, yes. I see. Yes, yeah. The vest, oh, is that also one of your yeah. designs? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I noticed some of the, uh, the designs, like the, uh, on, this, on the shirt on the left there, it looks very intricate. How do you how do you do that? Uh, some of it's done with beadwork or or thread. Um, like some of it's like hand applique or stitching, cross stitching like, mm -hmm. or beadwork or print. And the one Cree was just wearing there with the blue, the nice blue yeah. there. That's that's nice. It's weaving ribbon together rather than just putting it on. And that's a blazer that Cheryl's wearing in a yeah. dress. Yeah. It's. Uh, a beaded frock with a, a Cree rose. My grandmother helped me with that one. Um, these three. Um, Janie is wearing a bone bead jacket. Um, Cecile has uh, bugle beads and long fringe. And Sandy has shells in the center. I see. 
Now, uh, this looks very cool. Like, do you, like, I guess you have to be sort of an artist to do some of these designs by the looks of it, uh, just with the, with the, uh, geometric design so they are they are traditional a lot of them the designs yeah. well I tried to keep it uh, traditional uh, there are contemporary um, I might use um, a design that uh, is more contemporary something that you you could find in the in the store similar to so it looks like some of these clothes could be actually for business use also. yeah yes yes definitely around the office the professional mm -hmm. yeah so uh, tell me, how many how many outfits, I guess, have you designed so far since you've uh, been doing First this? First started doing this? I, I'm i not exactly sure. Yeah. I just know at my last show I had 36, 36 <laughs> different ones. Yeah. And um, I guess basically what I'd like to know is from you is uh, what, uh, how, how, like what, what, what's, what's next for you in, in the future here? What do you, where do you plan to go? Well, I plan to continue doing the shows. Uh, traveling. Um, I've done a few um, and get bigger into the international market, um, looking for more consistent buyers um, in the sense of volume mm -hmm. and keep doing what I'm doing. And uh, so I guess you could, if, I, if you could just explain to me the process of starting out with a piece of material to the finished product. Yeah. What, and uh, it works differently for each outfit. Um, sometimes an idea might come and I'll know exactly what materials I have to get or I'll go to the store and I'll find some fabric I like and an idea will come out of that. Or I have family that help me now. I have uh, my grandmother and my sister that help me with the beadwork and I have two friends, Sharon and Gert, that help me do with sewing. And the combination of the five of us working together makes Makes the business. So there is a name for the company. Yeah, too. it's Timeless Shadows, and it's a business in Swift Current. <laughs> yes, it's a traveling business. I go all over the place, but I, I live in Swift Current. So yes. I guess the question is, why did you choose Swift Current as a place to market? A location? Yeah. Well, it's 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 a small community. Um, I have friends and family that live there. Um, and it's been good. I've had a lot of support. I did my training, my business training there. So where do you see yourself in two years from now, say? Two years from now? Well, I'm trying to get more exposure so that I can get more orders and go international, mm -hmm. more established in, into the international market. Now, there are a lot of people out there who may be wanting to get into the fashion business. If you can give them any advice on where, you, where you've come from, uh, what right. would you say to them? Well, I guess if you don't have any knowledge in, in sewing, um, I guess tailor, uh, take a tailoring course. Um, whatever you, you're wanting, you'll, you'll strive for it. Um, there's a lot of good schools out there. Um, I, I wasn't fortunate enough to attend any school for the, the sewing aspect or the, the the beading. It's family members that have taught me. Mm -hmm. So, Well, thanks a lot for joining us, Tracy, and good luck yes. in, in your future, and hope you sell a lot of okay. designs. <laughs> thanks. Music from Elvis Ballantyne.